the effects of inflation can clearly be seen in basic everyday items in the Philippines. As you might have heard, food prices here in the Philippines have skyrocketed during the pandemic. Delectables like onion, egg, rice, and hot dogs, and other food items have experienced an increase in price. A number of factors have pushed the prices of these products to skyrocket, but we will talk about them later. However, according to recent reports from March of 2023 of the Philippine Statistic Authority, inflation has eased. But it can't be denied that it's affected Filipinos. Ever since the declaration of the war between Russia and Ukraine, gas prices have gone up significantly. According to the data from the Department of Energy, prices of diesel today in Manila have gone up. Compare that to the price of diesel from February 28, 2020, which were 42 pesos per liter. The inflation of gas prices have affected public transportation as well. Most traditional POJ drivers are discouraged from continuing their rides, and tricycle fares are a lot higher than before. According to a firm that provided a data solution to small store, the cost of food purchase from small merchants just jumped 15.62% in January 2023. Food inflation in January was 11.2%. According to the Philippine Statistic Authority, PSA, with store and retail outlets being the most accessible to Filipinos, inflation has affected the everyday life of Filipinos who depend on the store. With technology becoming a need from some schools, especially our in Apex schools, it is coming at higher cost not only with technology but as well as other school supplies. Like papers and pencil, it's currently not a high prices but it's getting there as long as problem today still persists. When the rate of inflation rises, who and what are we to blame? When there is an excessive amount of demand for a certain good, prices usually go up. When unemployment is low and or salaries are rising, there is also a high demand for goods and services. In the end, this is result in increased spending. Additionally, there is and what the COVID-19 pandemic where the demand for product increased. But with the services of people decreasing, more recently, the Russia-Ukraine war has contributed to the inflation of certain prices such as crude, crude oil. With the causes come effects. Lives of Filipinos in poverty are greatly affected by inflation. It's clear that these Filipinos are struggling. Moreover, common Filipinos especially us students, have to go through this as well. Increased transportation fares, school supply prices, and food prices just make it difficult for us to budget whenever we need to. We can imagine how harder it would be for those students with even tighter budgets today. Prices continue to rise and fall over time in the Philippines. However, we really can't do much as common Filipinos other than to be cooperative. We'll just have to see how time will affect our lives over time. Maybe we'll have free public transportation in the future. Or maybe this channel will grow in the hands of another person.